Hi there, this is Steve, and as promised, I am going to show you a tutorial on how to add a WoW slider to a responsive layer maker um, framework. So as you can see here, I've got my demo site in responsive layer maker kind of set up the way I want, and I've used a image file element here that I just dragged out of here, out of out of the elements tab in responsive layer maker, and that's what I'm going to choose to use for my um, WoW slider. So we'll start with going into WoW slider and I've already imported some image in, images in here and we're just going to go ahead and publish this to our uh, website folder that we have the responsive layer maker saved to. Um, I have mine picked already but it, if if it's not already picked you can just browse to the folder where your website is and make sure it's selected and um, in my case I've named uh, the file for this WoW slider test layout gallery. So I'm going to publish that and by default WoW slider uh, shows kind of what it should look like once we get it into our website and in our case we're going to have it show up right in here. So the very first thing we're going to need to do is get both of these files opened up inside of our uh, an HTML editor. So I'm going to go to the file where my index file is from the responsive layout maker and we're going to open this with our uh, HTML editor here and then we're also going to open the test layout gallery that we created in responsive layout in our uh, HTML editor. So now we have both of these files open. It's really easy to work with because they're right side by side. I'm going to go in here and the first thing we're going to uh, look at here is copying the stuff out of the header. So um, I'm going to grab the stuff from the start while wow slider head section to the end while wow slider head section. I'm going to copy that then we're going to go to the index file and you'll notice in the top here there's a heading section I'm just going to make a little bit of whoops make some space in here and I'm just going to paste in our code there, that's done then we're going to come back into the gallery and then we're going to copy the rest of the code and we're going to want to start from the wow slider uh, body section to the end wow slider body section. We're just going to take all of this code, copy it, and, and this is uh, really, uh, I guess, the most challenging part for a non coder is you're going to have to siphon through this and figure out where your wow slider is and they made it pretty easy coffee cup by um, letting us name the images and then the names of the images are actually um, right in the code so if we just slide down a little bit here you're gonna see the image file called wow slider and I'm just gonna zoom in on that so this little element that we see right in here this wow slider element um, we actually can uh, go right here and we'll we'll find it right in here so we're actually going to delete that out now because it was really just a placeholder for us we we'll make some space in here and then I'm going to paste in um, that code that we copied so as you see here now now we have the body code in here which is all your images and then we up here we have the heading code the header code now we'll just go ahead and save this file. Then we'll open up your FTP client and I've already got mine configured here so I, I've already got selected the place where my website resides on and I'm just going to refresh and we'll notice uh, a couple more folders appear here uh, the data one and the engine one and also our other files here, test layout, gallery, and index. So I've made changes to my index file. I'm going to upload those to my server. 
I'm also going to grab the data and the engine one. If you don't upload these two folders, your WoW slider is not going to work because it's going to have no images or CSS to work off of. So we're going to make sure those are uploaded. Okay, now you can kind of see, refresh this side and all our files are uploaded. Now if we go to the website and we control F5 to refresh, there we have it. Our WoW slider has been successfully added to our, our framework layout from the responsive layout maker. I hope um, this answers any questions you guys may have. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask about them in the comments section. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Until next time, we'll see you later.